What is up, guys? Welcome to Backbone, the prologue. So, this is a little different, because technically this is like a demo for a game, um, but it looks very impressive. It's got a lot of really good reviews, and right now this demo is free. So, what we play right here, you can go and play yourself if you want to. Um, it's basically, Backbone is like a detective style game. Um, and it just, it looks really gorgeous, and it's got like, I don't know, animal characters, and I mean, we played Night in the Woods, so. <laughs> I just figured this might be, why not? I wanted to play it, that's why we're playing it. Um, you're gonna hear some clickety clacks, because uh, the keyboard is very close to the mic, and I can't do anything about that, so, sorry. And this is a no um, controller game. So, we're gonna jump in to Backbone and see what this game has to offer. It's got really, really good reviews. So, I'm excited. Ooh, smoking gun. <gasps> smoking in the bathtub, come on. Really, man? Take it outside. Smoking with a book, too. This guy's crazy. He's a loose cannon. He's nuts. He's a raccoon. It's Rocket. Oh, my God. Oh, no. I have to read. Uh, sorry. <clears throat> no, that's bad. I need a good one. Sorry, I missed your message. Just enough time to clean up. Just enough time to clean up. Okay, we're in it. Here's our buttons. E to interact. Okay, let's do this. Man, this would be easily brought to the controller. So we can go to the living room. Uh, oh my god. Can we jump? How come I can't jump? Ugh, it's so realistic. Jeez. Let's inspect the desk. Okay. Uh, use the mouse to drag and drop. Some items can be picked up. Oh, cool. He to pick it up. Oh, I picked up my bowl. Oh, dude, I'm cleaning up. That's good. That's good. We gotta clean up his desk, man. Otherwise, can I drag things? I thought we could drag things. Sorry, like I said, you're gonna hear the clickety clacks. You're just gonna have to get used to it. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. I can't do anything about it. All right, we got the bowl. Where's the dish? Where's the sink? Is it, is it this way? We can't go that way. Am I wearing a hat? Is my ear chopped? Oh my god, we're missing a part of our ear. This is a hardcore raccoon guy. Case files. Insurance fraud, lost cars, uh, and strange lovers. Should probably get rid of some, some of these old case files uh, eventually. <clears throat> I gotta get used to reading again. Sorry guys. I need like the I need like a, a good like rocket voice. I can't do that though. That's like Boston or whatever. Anyways, alright. Go into the living room. There's nothing here for us. Ain't got nothing here for us. Alright. Media set. Uh, this damn thing stopped working a long time ago. Gotta hit Frankie up next time I'm in Fustdale. And when I have cash, so... Never. Alright. He never has cash? Come on, dude. Don't go to the office. We were already there. Fridge. Call mom. Buy soap. Pay bills. Don't die. Nice. It's a good motto. Photochemicals? Uh, leaving developers in the kitchen is, sure a road, is a sure road to poisoning. Or a great soup. Uh, there you go. There you go. You crazy trash panda. Let's do this. Window. Hard to get tired of this view. Nice. Place dishes. Do it. I'll wash these later. Probably not. Oh, ho, ho. this guy. Oh, he's hardcore, man. He's not going to wash those dishes. You bet. You bet he's not going to. Dude, where the music go? It's like really quiet. I don't. You're making me mad. I'll wash these later. Probably not. Dude, wash them now. Can I make him wash these right now? I guess not. You know, I really need to not have a mechanical keyboard, cause uh, it's really loud. I should I should invest in a not mechanical keyboard. Whoa, where the heck are we? Toilet books. Mm, the great apes. The great story. Swell toilet read. Better leave it here. What? But I want to take it with me. Uh, Elliot Graham said it best. Enlightening account on the last beacon of civilization and its masterful architects. Essential. I'm getting it down. I'm getting it, I'm getting it down, guys. Um, I just gotta... Essential. Hmm. He's gotta be like the justice type. He might be a raccoon, but like he's gotta be like a... Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. No. We gotta do this. Among many great stories, the great story stands out as the gripping yet edifying tale of our tenacious leaders in their crusade to usher in an era of prosperity for the city and its citizens. Okay, go outside, please. Where are we going? L look at the window again? Wonder what these old weathered stones would say if they could talk. 
Howie, I grew a new vine today. Do you like it? There we go. That's the perfect voice. Apes, I could use a quick smoke outside. Yeah, let's get out of here, dude. Let's blow this popsicle stand. I'm already bored of this house, not the game. Just the house. Place chemicals. Oh, I picked up the chemicals. There we go. Everything knows its proper place. <laughs> All right. We've got it. I got the voice. Oh, I missed whatever he just said. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Odette. Excuse me, I'm looking for Detective Loader. Uh, we spoke on the phone. I gather you have a case for me, Mrs. Green. At your service, Mrs. Green. Trust you've had a pleasant day. Mrs. Green, can I help you? You were vague when we spoke before. Ooh, ooh. I gather you have a case for me. At your service, Mrs. Green. Trust you've had a pleasant day. Uh, I've had better. I've had worse. Truthfully, my back's killing me today. Pregnancy's... Whoa, she's pregnant. I didn't even realize. Uh, I'm not very observant. Um, pregnancies are rough on the spine, let me tell you. And please, Odette is fine. Mm, this your first? Odette, how can I help you today? You didn't say much when we spoke before. Is this your first? Be inquisitive. Third, my oldest Daisy will be seven soon, and Elliot just turned three. They must be a handful. They can be, but mostly they're sweet kids, all kinds of helpful. They're my silver lining. What do you mean by helpful? Do they murder? <laughs> or the killers? Tell me right now, I'm a detective, I'll find out. Uh, what do you mean by silver lining? Anyways, how can I help you today? What do you mean by helpful? Oh, Daisy is so good with Elliot, she'll help calm him when he's fussy, and they're both such good listeners. That's sweet. But anyway, how can I help you today, Odette? You gotta be inquisitive. Come on, you're a detective. I, um, uh, well, I understand this sort of thing is routine in your line of work. It's about my husband, you see. Is he missing? What's the matter? Do you suspect he's cheating? What's the matter? Uh, he hasn't been himself lately, getting home at odd hours, and every time I try to talk about it, he gets... Oh, well, but no matter. It, it's just embarrassing to admit. You suspect he's cheating on you? Hold up. What happened when you tried to talk to him? Do it. He gets difficult. It's like everything still some is somehow my fault. And he's... I I'm sorry, is this relevant? What I need to know is if you can get proof something... Uh, if you can get proof something that'll hold up in court. Wow, holy crap. Court? Are you filing for divorce? Odette, I know these questions feel invasive, but I'll need to know. Um, if he if he's indeed having an affair, I can get you what you want. Understood. I'll need a picture and some information about his routine. I know that these are you know I really don't mind it. I don't really don't think it's relevant, Mr. Loader, and I'd rather move on. Odette, personal details often make or break a case. Ooh, that's kind of true. Let's talk about court then. You're filing for a divorce. Let's talk about case details. I need a picture and information about his routine. All right. Tell me, why are you so certain he's having an affair? We haven't even crossed that bridge yet, dude. Let's do this. Uh, I can't see how irrelevant information about our marriage would help. Um, the affair is the only relevant matter and all you need to know about. I, you didn't tell me he was having an affair yet. Uh, if there's even a chance it might give me an edge, wouldn't you take it? Ooh. Well, there's a reason you're hiring a professional. Ooh. 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 Let's do this. What do you, what do you want to know? Is he aggressive? Not physically, but he's threatening, verbally abusive, and has big moods. Um, let's talk about court then. You're filing for a divorce. He threatened to take the kids. Let's figure out how to nail this bastard. <laughs> oh my god. All right, tell me. Why are you so certain he's having an affair? Let's start with the top one. You're filing for it? That's right. And above all, I need something damning enough that custody won't even be a question. He's going to end up being a good guy. This is not going to be... This is going to go that way. I, I just... I'm betting it. Has your husband threatened to take the children? One last thing. Let's talk case details. I'll need a picture and some information about his routine. Has your husband threatened to take... Frankly, I think that's none of your concern, Mr. Loader. On the contrary, this is relevant to the case. It is. How? If you need proof for a custody battle, there is a price increase. <gasps> that's dark. Oh. The case has more writing on it. I need to use more resources to avoid even the smallest mistakes. Um, it helps to have an emotional incentive. The, the case has more writing on it. He, he has threatened to take them before, and I've been such a coward. Always gave up, but I'm done with it. Daisy and Elliot have suffered enough. I failed them before, and I'm so ashamed. I'm trying to fix this mess. Odette, this is not your fault. I know this was hard to talk about. Thank you for sharing. I'm trying to do better for the kids. Be brave. I know this is tough, but let's talk about the affair. 
Now, let's nail this bastard. No, let's talk about the affair. Um, he hasn't been hiding well. His behavior is all abnormal. He gets home late, misses work, lies, and smells funny. How do you know he's been missing work? One last thing. Let's talk about case details. I'll need a picture and information, and you've caught him lying. What time does he get home uh, when he's late? Ooh. How do you know he's been missing work? What's that? that? Apes, I feel so ashamed. He's going to get terminated if he continues like this. I've gotten calls. At first, they wondered if he was if he was homesick. I lied for him a couple times, too. What's the funny smell? One last thing. Let's talk case details. Um, Lying. What time does he get home? Way past work hours. Unreasonably so. And drunk. One time I stayed up and asked what he was doing. It didn't go well. Um, And you've caught him lying? He's bad at it. Makes lame excuses about where he's been. What's the funny smell? Like perfume. Not mine. Alcohol, smoke, and something else I can't pinpoint. But it's poignant. A kind of herbal stink. Hmm. One last thing. Let's cost the case details. G give me, give me the pictures. Give me, give me now. Uh, of course, anything you need. What would you? Oh, sorry. <laughs> of course, anything you need. What would you like to know? What does he look like? Where can I find him? Usually, have you met any of his friends? What's his full name? Where does he work? Um. Let's do. What does he look like? Here's a photo. He's an otter, of course. A bit shorter than you and kind of chunky. He wears glasses, the square kind, and his wedding band, as far as I know. Oh, and he carries a black briefcase to and from work. Where can I find him usually? Well, supposedly he goes to work and then comes home, but I know sometimes he goes somewhere else after work. Occasionally before. Now it's become more frequent. Have you met any of his friends? I haven't met them, but he mentions some guys from time to time. Sometimes he hangs out with them after work. What's his full name? Jeremy Green. Oh, that's a murderer's name if I've ever heard one. Uh, I think people at work call him Jez for short. That's weird. Where does he work? At the Wolf Bank. Oh, God. Uh, at, the, at the Wolf Bank on, Gr on Granville. I can write the address down for you. Uh, any way I'd be able to pick him out of a crowd. Well, I lay his clothes out for him every morning. He has to wear a suit for work. I picked out his green tie and hat for him today. That's all I need. Now the awkward part. Payment. I can give you a hundred now and fifty when you're done. Would that be enough? Yes, plus any unexpected expenses during the investigation. I've got a lot riding on this, and I only get one shot. Funds are limited, you know. Please be careful, and don't get caught. If you do, I'm as good as dead. Whoa! I understand. Uh, I'll get right on it, Odette. Talk soon. Boom, 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 boom. Here we go. It's alright. Tab to access the menu. Okay. E tab. My office notes to self. Reminder to call mom. It's not difficult to remember, just, to, just difficult to stop procrastinating. Yeah, that's true. Uh, client Odette Green wants proof of her husband's affair. Uh, task surveillance, photograph, uh, photographic, or other substantial evidence of infidelity. Target Jeremy Green, alias Jez Otter, chubby, average height, square glasses, works at Wolf Bank on Granville, 9 to 1900. Should be a good place to pick up his trail. He's wearing a green hat and a tie, and tie today. Has a black suit. Payment. 100 up front, 50 after, plus expensive. Should be easy peasy. Dude, I'm going to get destroyed. Get ready for this. I'm going to walk out my door and headshot. Dead. It's actually an FPS. You just don't realize it. Whoa! See? This is why. Granville. Smells like wet concrete, overpriced fast food, and puke. My kind of battleground. Look at this. Look at the art for this. It's impressive. It's very, very beautiful. This is why I wanted to play this. Squirrel guy, what do you got to talk about? Hey, what's up, old man? Take a look at this photo. Have you seen this guy around? What about you, young man? Not much, bye. What about you, young man? Just hanging out, what are you doing? Uh, you could say I'm just hanging, too. From my hanging to yours, peace, bro. Take a look at this photo. Have you seen this guy around? Nah, man, sorry. What are you, some kind of pervert? Uh, well, see you. No, I'm not some kind of pervert. I'm not going to talk to you either. What's this? Wait, wait. Vermin. The one slick, silver-tongued devil of a mountain lion. When I go crazy and kill someone, I hope I can afford him. Yeah. Vermin. Posters. The Great Apes. The Great Story. Documentary. A, sh a story of order. A story of courage. A story of justice. This has been running for a few years now. Whoa, look at this beaver. And Natalie... Hey, man, my man. Where to? Uh, I'm, I'm looking for someone. Got a moment? 
Natalie, it's me, Howard. How's Estrella and the kids? What? I just arrived. See you later. I don't know this dude. Looking for someone. Got a moment? Nah, I have no business remembering people. Wanna hear a great story, man? Um, sure, go ahead. So, my wife Estrella and I, we got a second lad coming up soon. Second? You guys are lucky. We are, we are. And it's a big one. Essie is as round as a beach ball. So I tell her, Woman, you getting any bigger, and I won't fit you into a trunk of a car. What? Oh, that sounds really dark. You scalawag, you. She just turns to me and the eyes of a killer and says, Hand me the bread, honey. <laughs> oh boy, women, man. Yeah, well, women, right? Huh? Um, mysterious creatures, they love bread. So we break the news to our boy Victor. Son, you're going, you're going to be a bro soon. You're going to be a bro soon? And he's like, oh no. What's it mean? What's it mean, Natalie? So I teach him. Mama and Dada worked hard, so apes gave us a chance to have another baby. Baby boy just like you. It's a rare chance for sure. Sure is. Little Victor, poor soul, starts laughing. Oh, Daddy. We're going to be so happy. Baby bro and I are going to play all the time. And I say, sure, son, but here's a catch. There's a catch. Daddy has two baby bros to take care of. Baby bros now have zero daddies because daddy has to work four shifts instead of two. <laughs> that took a dark turn, you okay? I'll manage, I'll manage. Now, what are you doing here? I'm looking for this guy. Here's a picture. Have you seen him recently? Yeah, I've seen him. Jokey joke type of guy. Smell really bad. Took him out uh, the bite home a couple times. Have you guys talked? Did he mention anything strange? Nah. He was too wasted to talk most of the time. His smell talked for him. <laughs> uh, where can I find him now? I don't know. Try the bite. Uh, but it's a goopy place. Keep your eyes peeled. What did he smell like? Uh, uh you know. Hard to describe. The poopy butt kind of smell. Uh, <laughs> what? Mixed with perfume, cigarettes, and herbs. Awful, awful stuff. Uh, thanks, Natalie. You're a true detective. Send regards to Estrella. Take care, my man. Goodbye. Alright, we're looking for him, we're on the hunt, we're gonna find him, uh oh, a bank, wolf bank, wolf bank, this is where green works, hmm, hmm, get rid of the bubble, the bite, indeed, hmm, might not quite fit in with this fancy crowd, thankfully I'm a charming boy, hello bouncer, bouncer bear, I like you a lot. No entrance for raccoons. Goodbye. Perhaps a couple of loons would change your mind. My friend Carlos is waiting inside. Go ask him. I'm sure we can arrange something, big boy. What do you need? I like that. We're going with that. Get me a personal invitation. Signed by the great apes and I'll let you in. Deal. Deal? Um, sure. Bye. Dang it. Who are the great apes? I don't even know who the great apes are. Or is it you guys? Are you guys? Bank employees. Yeah. Good evening. How are you doing, gentlemen? You folks work at Wolf Bank, right? Yeah, why? Uh, take a look at this photo. Have you seen this man? Is Jez around? And who are you? Oh my god. Uh, oh, so you know him. Asshole owes me money. Been looking for him everywhere. Oh, this is tough. What do I choose? I can't give my... I can't give it up. None of your business. Uh, well... Say hi to Derek here, because you two are probably not going to see your money again. Whoa! Uh, I'll try to find the asshole. Have you seen him today? Yeah, but the wimp the wimp has left early. He's scared Derek's going to split his wig. <laughs> what happened at work? Left early. Where do you think he headed? Uh, what say you boys? Home to his nagging bitch of a wife. To the gutter. Where he belongs. Only apes know. Something happened at work. Could he be with someone now, girlfriend? You're an asshole, you know that? Wow. Don't say that, it's a cat. Did something happen at work? Heard his contract is not getting renewed. Bastard had it coming. Um, could he be with someone now, girlfriend? If you reckon harlots are, are sort of girlfriends, then sure. Could be with one of them, all for all I know. Did you boys spend time with him outside of work? Yeah, we used to have a blast at the bite every Thursday. He's not fun anymore, though. The bite? Could he be there now? If he is, be sure to let him know he's good as dead. Good luck, Rack. Uh, sure thing. Thank you for your help. Hmm. Interesting. Well then. 
Maybe we can use that information to get in here. Let's go to This is freaking crazy, man. Uh, can I get inside? Oh, God. What? Still no. Don't ask again. All right. Well, <gasps> hold shift to run. Wow. Um, control to enter crouch mode. Begin to stand. Alley. Down the alley. Whoa. Can I, can I kill this guy? How about this guy? Can I kill any of these guys? Oh, are we going to try to sneak in? Oh my god, there's so many options. Alright, well, we're going to have to do that next time. Because this is where we're going to stop for today. And uh, next time we will try to get into the bite and find freaking Mr. Green. Man, this is getting crazy. He owes people money. I'm going to take him down. We're going to get him. Anyways, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you'll join me next time. Once again, if you want to stop here and you don't want to keep watching and you want to go play this, this prologue yourself... You can go do so right now. It's on Steam. It's free. Just just do it. Do it. Give the guy a review. Because, I mean, the the pixel art for this is very impressive. He's done a great job. So, But either way, thank you for joining me, guys. I hope you'll join me next time. I am Mr. Bagels. Goodbye.